Hello folks, welcome back. I will share a story named, Looking for Counsel on the Best Way to Deal with the Circumstance. What's more, folks, this story is about a youthful person who got married and found following one year of marriage, and having a kid that is better half and taken part in an affair with the neighbor. Thus he then, at that point, notifies the neighbor's wife about this telling her what's going on, and afterward he lets his wife know that it's finished, we're getting a separation, that is all there is to it. Obviously, she cries and beseeches him to alter his perspective, all that foo. To send the following day, several days after, she takes off totally with the neighbor, the person she's having the illicit relationship with, and leaves their half-year-old youngster deserted there in the den, crying what not. An extraordinary mother caught, so she's out of the out of his life. The guy continues on and brings up the child all alone, and after ten years, he receives an email from her essentially needing to see her child and needing to get her family back. I'm doing this, folks, to show you nowadays. Tragically, in the event a couple gets separated or they split up, overall the kids generally go to the mother. What's truly lamentable is that there's parcel of incredible folks out there. Their extraordinary dads give their best for the children, however they can likewise have truly bad moms, yet by and large the courts will grant care to the moms regardless of whether they are terrible moms and at times dreadful moms. It's truly insane that this continues as I'm doing this story to show you an illustration of an incredible dad and a terrible mother. We have the women's activists continuously chattering on about fairness and everything. What is something to begin with equivalent privileges and uniformity? What about that? The kids don't generally go with the mother since you have extraordinary dads out there who are superior to the moms. In this way, how about we get to the story? It gets going me 34-year-old male, my ex, 35-year-old female. He calls the neighbor AP and the neighbor's significant other M me, and my better half married in 2009. We had our child in 2010. In November 2010, while she was rest sleeping, a message popped on her phone and was a coy message. I checked in her phone and it was from our neighbor. I went through each and every message, which included sexting, sharing nudes, and even had arranged meetups at lodgings. This is happening from the initial week into our marriage. I felt like my reality disintegrated before me. I took screen captures of each and every message and saved it on my telephone. Following day, I reached out to M, the neighbor's spouse, and let her know about the undertaking. This has been happening since the week they got married. Might you at any point envision that? Why in the world did this lady try getting married in the event that she planned to do this immediately? She was most likely at a particular age that she wanted a feast ticket somebody to cover the bills however she actually needed to have a great time as an afterthought. You will find out how that character of her is turning out to return later on in the distance to show you really that individuals don't change, a panther doesn't change its spots. He says the neighbor had a spouse, they were married for quite a long time, and had their most memorable child, nearly at precisely the same time as we had our own. I faced my wife and told her that I will give her a separation. She began crying and all the other things, however, I didn't think about it. I likewise did a paternity trial of our youngster, the child on the grounds that the undertaking timetable was equivalent to the conception date. This is extremely shrewd of this person. A ton of folks could not have possibly done that. Following two days when I got back home from work, our child was crying in our bed and my wife was no place to be seen. Then I found a letter of her telling that she didn't cherish me and she had left with AP and not to reach them. I realized this was coming yet I didn't really think that that a mother can leave her youngster who was a half year old alone and could escape with her darling. It's terrible enough that she was cheating on this man from the first week that they got married. However, the way that she just left off and left her half year old youngster, that is inexcusable. I then went to M's house. She had gotten a similar letter by her husband. I felt frustrated about her as she was going through a post birth anxiety, had her child only a couple of months prior and was left alone. Additionally, Paternity test result returned, and he was my son. Indeed, that is great. I attempted to contact my wife's family. However, they likewise didn't have any idea where she had gone. They were stunned by her way of behaving. Her dad even said assuming she at any point returned, she wouldn't be permitted to go into their home. They fundamentally repudiated her. Indeed, that is marvelous. Great family. Fascinating individuals don't change. So he depicted her family's being stunned to her way of behaving. There probably had been pieces of information and signs about her character growing up, similar to when somebody accomplishes something truly over the top like this. Individuals then think back and say, goodness, you know, that sort of checks out that time that individual did that or that time that individual expressed that things begin to interface. That is the reason, folks, you certainly stand out to individuals. 
what their activities are and furthermore what they say. However, particularly their activities to sort of get to know who they truly are. It's lamentable that you got to constantly be somewhat nervous and continuously disapproving of your environmental elements and furthermore individuals since it's simply tragically, you simply never understand what they can do to you. The story proceeds, um was extremely strong. She started coming to my home to watch the children and even breast for the two of them, heart and brain. As time elapsed, we were like family. My child called her mother and endlessly had referred to just her as his mother. We likewise chose to go on dates. We got drawn in a year after the fact and wedded 2013. We had our kid in 2015. We frequently examined things about our exes and how we were frequently disregarded by them. We were a blissful family, so what about that? He gets along with the neighbor's spouse. Yet clearly, as may be obvious, here it wasn't about retribution, as the two of them need each other to help each other out, experienced passionate feelings for, and they turn into a family and in the event that it worked for them, cool. She was there for him and he was there for her, and it works with the children. So that is at the present time. It sounds very great. That is good to hear. In 2018, my son unintentionally saw an image of my ex, an image after birth that included him and me as well, so we chose to enlighten him regarding his real mother. We said that the ex had passed on in an auto collision a long time back in M-Tool care of him since he was half a year old. I don't know if that was smart of saying that she got an auto crash on the grounds that eventually the fact of the matter will emerge and the children are not going to like being missiled. However, I can see they need your reaction to circumstance like that. Quit forward to two days prior. I got an unknown email. I opened it and it read, I need to see my child and I need my family back. We're not divorced yet. I realized it was my ex, and I showed this to him and began going crazy, inquiring as to whether I would take her back. I calmed her down and told her that it was a terrible past, and I could never take her back. Presently, I befuddled what to do. I will not take her back, but rather should I let her meet my son or not? Would it be a good idea for me to pursue my child to open door, have association with his introduction to the real mother? Indeed, number one, this guy won't take her back since she is an outright psycho. She deserted her child also how she treated him. Yet in addition, he is clearly stressed over possibly having issues with legal transfer of the child to the mother. I'm not a legal counselor, but I am pretty sure that by her forsaking the youngster and taking off, basically there are few chances of her retaining the custody of the child. It's absolutely impossible that she will get that opportunity. Would it be advisable for him to tell the child see her? I would say that no way. No way since she messed up that open door, after all, she's about to botch the youngster. The children are in an excellent circumstance with father and the stepmother. She deals with the youngster like her own, which is marvelous. Allow us to continue. Thank you for such a response. A lot has happened since the last time. Also, I didn't want to post an update as many people in comments thought it was fake. Yet, right up to the present day, I am receiving messages requesting an update, so I chose to refresh all of you. We didn't need court or a legal counselor. Some of you guarantee that she wouldn't. She would have no parental privileges over my child, as she deserted us quite a while back. So I suspected as much. To affirm the case, I reached my companion who's a legal counselor and affirmed that she could confront a weighty fine and a parental privileges in prison. I enlightened him regarding the time span of relinquishment and requested what were the possibilities of winning my case. He let me know that on the off chance that a parent neglects to contact a child for more than a year, the vast majority of the time, the person is given end of parental freedoms. I had an enormous digital help. I additionally attended therapy together with my son, so I can come clean with him about his natural mother. That is great. It's truly perfect to hear. Furthermore, with him going into therapy and coming clean with him about his mom, that is really smart. I accept the youngster has the right to be aware. Eventually, the issue will be the point at which that youngster needs to see his mother. That normally occurs. I would say no till he is 18 since despite the fact that she was his mother, it's as yet just plain dumb. He proceeds as I needed to figure out why she reached out to me after 10 years. I informed her dad, who is currently, best case scenario, companion of mine and offers me some great guidance. It just so happens, she reached out to her sister for cash every now and then for around 10 years yet, presently her sister isn't willing to help her as she was requesting for more cash. I got some information about her circumstances on whether acquainting her with my child would be smart or not. He replied by saying that my ex-wife has a minimum paid job and lives in a little loft with three flatmates. By listening to him say this, I thought, terrible for her, yet she procured it. He said that she would impact her child so acquainting my child with her is better not. 
Number one, that is wonderful. That you actually converse with her loved ones. They sound like great individuals, particularly when she's good and gone. She's repudiated, however it says a ton when even her own dad expresses no to an impractical notion. She would have a terrible impact for sure. She would mess that young son up. Furthermore, hello, karma is a bitch since she's there, residing and dealing with a minimum wage work, and leaving the three flatmates generally packed into one little spot. No surprise she was connecting with the family to get cash from the sister. So it's unmistakable the main reason she's contacting this guy is that she is frantic and most likely figures that he's a particularly decent person who will give her the cash or she will utilize the young son to get cash. It's truly miserable. The story forges ahead. The following day, I called her sister and asked her how was the discussion throughout the course of recent years. She let me know everything, how my ex-spouse gets in touch with her just for cash in light of the fact that subsequent to paying rent. She had no cash left for food and for the utilities. The ex never got information about my child, yet just for cash. I got some information about connection between the ex-spouse and the takeoff accomplice, which she answered, he is in jail for rape beginning around 2015. I don't have any idea why, yet this ought to be uplifting news. I asked if the ex-spouse realizes about the separation or not. She said the ex has no clue about the separation. She actually thinks we are still legally married. I really enlightened the ex regarding everything, separation, kid guardianship, my new family, and that she has no responsibility over my child. That is an incredible inclination and something extraordinary for him to have the option to say. I told everything to them, and she was a piece shocked by the ex's way of behaving. She never figured a mother could be so thoughtless toward her own child. She was stunned to hear the report about the issue accomplice. It's been 30 days and the ex has not reached us. Family guiding is going perfectly and we chose to adopt those children lawfully. I don't think the ex will contact as her sister would have educated her regarding her situation for the situation legitimately, and she would simply swander cash by employing a lawyer. In the case of something occurring, I'll refresh you all. Indeed, that is all. In all, a story that again proceeds to show you that there's a ton of extraordinary dads out there and heaps of spoiled moms. It chafes me that on multiple occasions, the state will give the care privileges to the mother versus an extra good dad essentially on the grounds that she's the mother. Is it safe to say that they are this way? No. However, there are a great deal of spoiled moms out there who have no business at every single bringing up kid. Be that as it may, it's an extraordinary story. This person clearly got everything in order. He's begun with a neighbor and has something extraordinary happening with her. That is magnificent. Once more, it's not shocking that the main explanation she was connecting was for the cash. She has no cash to pay the lawyer as the legal advisors must get compensated, and she's making the lowest pay permitted by law. Leave your comments down below. Inform me as to whether you ponder this and make certain to like the video. I'll get you sometime later.